Speaking of good things, the Ecology Center in the San Juan Capistrano Valley is working on changing the landscape of farming. And this week's What's Good, our Amy Pafrov takes a visit to this living laboratory. Amy. What's on the other side of the rainbow? Ecology Center founder Evan Marks hopes it's a more sustainable future. He may be a land animal, but like most SoCal kids, the Orange County-born designer spent his childhood in the water riding waves in the Pacific Ocean, something he discovered he'd have to fiercely protect. As a surfer, I learned that agriculture was the number one impact on our oceans when I was 15, and I couldn't get that statistic out of my head. I said, if I want to surf, I've got to do something about it. He became an advocate for sustainable agriculture and went on a world tour. South America, West Africa, helping communities far away utilize the gifts of their regions. All with the similar mission of the Ecology Center, which is to design uh, agriculture to grow food in harmony with nature and people. After 10 years abroad, he felt called to return home. He realized he could change the world from his own backyard. He found a historic farmhouse in the middle of a San Juan Capistrano dirt lot and turned it into what he calls a cultural center for humanity. This is really like a petri dish. It's a village to imagine that together we can be better. It's a village consisting of hundreds of volunteers, thousands of children who've had a field trip or attended class here, and countless visitors who have bought produce from the farm stand or taken a free workshop. The now 28-acre farm recently obtained regenerative organic status and is home to seedlings, plants, animals, and humans living in harmony. If it sounds idyllic, it is, and it's intentional. We think form affects state, so if people come to a place where it's like, whoa, this is interesting, what's going on here? You start to think differently, you start to be differently, and that's if we do that, then we're winning, you know, we're meeting as a society. His vision of strawberry fields forever isn't just through rose-colored glasses. Evan is looking to the wisdom of the past to co-create a more beautiful future for the next generation, including his own sons, Sage and Ocean. It's all we're doing is for these people, and the people like them, and the there are people that will come after them um, and that we've got work to do as a, as a, as a human species to reimagine and redesign everything. Um, and this, this organization, this place represents that from the ground up. Revolutionizing industrialized agriculture, a lofty goal, one that doesn't phase this optimist. We don't want to inherit the, the past. We want to actually uh, consciously design the, the future that's different and that works towards the care of the earth, the care of all people, and the sharing of surplus. These are big ideas, and, and they, they are literally one step at a time. Each day, we take a meaningful step forward. The thing about rainbows is there's usually a pot of gold waiting on the other side. Come on, Amy Paprap. <laughs> I think that's a beautiful that. thing about a rainbow. I love that so much. So the Ecology Center donates 20% of its crops to food insecure families in the area. And you can pick up a fresh box of produce seven days a week at the Ecology Center. Find out more at theecologycenter.org.